Hello Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a reading. It is going to be timeless and general, obviously, for um, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to start with some oracle messages to begin, and then we'll jump into some tarot. Just a little bit of housekeeping, guys. Uh, there is no gender, only energy in my readings, okay? Roles can be reversed, and cross watchers are welcome here. So let's go ahead and get started and see what energy is playing out for you. Also, please keep in mind that if you find this video by the thumbnail, by the title, or even just by accident, um, there is something here for you, okay? So let's go ahead and dive in and see what is going on with you. What message does Aquarius need to hear at this time? By the way, guys, an upcoming new moon in Scorpio is going to be approaching us on November 13th. So if you are in that time frame of watching this video um, during Scorpio season, then, uh, you know, you're definitely going to be experiencing um, the transit through your 10th house of career. And this will be opposing Uranus in your fourth house. Okay. Also, Mars is going to be in conjunct with this new moon, opposing that Uranus in your fourth house. So we're talking here about uh, career, um, you know, and stuff like that. So it could come up in your reading. And if so, we will discuss it. Okay. All right. The cards are, you know, kind of quiet right now. So let's see what we need to know for Aquarius. Give us a message for Aquarius. What is the energy at this time? Okay, I will be pulling a card since they will not be giving me one. And the message is become a loving mirror. So this is an energy of inner reflection going within, right? And learning to love yourself. Okay, learning to really dive deep. I mean, that is, it's easier said than done, because we all can say, Oh, yeah, well, I love myself. But the question is, is that really the truth, right? Is is the energy of it. What are you doing to, to truly, um, do the self care and take care of yourself in a way that is all loving, right? Sometimes we can do a lot for other people and put ourselves on the back burner. This could be something that you are doing and that's possibly why this message is coming out for you. So becoming a loving mirror also to other people. Yes, you can, um, you know, reflect that to others, but unless you're, you know, really loving yourself, you can't love an, another person, right? That's usually the case. If you don't completely love yourself, there's no way you can actually love another person, right? So this is a beautiful energy of, of, um, going within and, uh, really reflecting, doing the inner work, and really engaging with your inner self, right? So, okay, that's a beautiful energy to begin the reading. Now let's get into the tarot and see what energy comes through for you and what messages you need to hear during this time. Also, if you are uh, coming across this reading outside of Scorpio season, that's okay. There still is something here for you. If the reading does not resonate with you at all, go check your other placements. I do have a playlist of all of my timeless readings, including the readings that do have dates on them as well. I have a lot of uh, videos there, so go check those out. All right, what do we have for our beautiful Aquarians? What do they need to know? Ace of Swords. Beautiful. This is an energy of truth. 
this is an epiphany, something that's coming to you that will bring light and shine the truth, shine, shine a light pretty much on a situation. Okay. This also could be asking you to be honest with yourself at this time. Again, looking back at, um, you know, the loving mirror, becoming a loving mirror. The truth hurts sometimes, but it's the best solution to get to the bottom of a situation. And sometimes it does come with love. Being truthful with another person, you know, it, it brings, um, sometimes it brings strife or it brings, um, you know, uh, energy that is um, a little bit hard to deal with because the truth hurts but you know sometimes you just got to do what you got to do and being honest with the person is the best way to be so that's what this energy is talking about okay this is also the um, it, it encompasses all of the ace cards in the tarot so you know making sure that you are not um, stagnant in your communication and um, you know, communicating clearly, thinking clearly, keeping everything um, situated in your mind, you know, not doing uh, the things that will block you from success or bl um, block you from potentials, okay? Potential energies that could um, bring success. We have the Queen of Swords. Wow. Right next to the Ace. You could be dealing with a Gemini or a Libra, okay? Um, I feel here that maybe you are being, you are having to be honest with uh, someone in your life, either one of those signs, um, or this is someone who has been honest with you and have, has come to you with some truth, okay? If this hasn't happened yet, this may be something that's coming into fruition. Um, and this person, you know, the Queen of Swords is someone who just doesn't um, beat around the bush. She's, you know, and there's no gender here, so this could be, you know, any gender. Um, but in this card, it's a, it's a woman. So I'm going to say she, um, she is very wise, right? Someone who knows exactly uh, what it, you know, what it is. And, um, you know, she's, she's going to say it the way it is, right? So there's a lot of truth telling here. We have the <clears throat> eight of wands. Is this the wands card? Yeah, Eight of Wands, but it's in reverse. That's very interesting because the Eight of Wands in the upright talks about communication, fast communication, but it is in reverse right next to these two cards of communication. So we're going to have to clarify and see why that is. Let's get another card. This could mean that there um, maybe are lies that are being told, um, and that's why the truth is, is coming out here. There's someone who wants to reveal the truth, and quickly, okay? Something that wants to come through quickly. We have the Ace of Cups. Okay, the Ace of Cups talks about um, the potential for opening up your heart chakra, Um this is potential for new love, potential for, um, you know, the ability to approach situations with love, um, and even, you know, um, open up yourself to, um, to celebrating the, the new, uh, the newness of something that you love to do. Like if you are opening up a business or you are, uh, starting a new project or you're, you know, starting a new hobby, something you love to do. Right, this is the the card that encompasses all of the the cup cards. Okay, so everything that uh, your heart desires is is located in this card right here. Okay, so let's get one more before we clarify these energies. One more card, please. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. Wow, guys, you have three aces out here. That is big energy. And I say that because the aces, as I said, encompass all of that elemental energy. Okay. 
So let's throw a couple, a couple shuffles in here. I'm going to stay with the same deck as we go in and clarify. I want to look at the Ace of Swords to the Queen of Swords to find out a little bit more about what we're talking about here and what energy is playing out with this possible truth. And you know, I'm going to combine these three cards here because this uh, Wands card is a communication card as well. It is Mercury energy. So I'm going to pull all these three cards together in the clarification. So let's see. What is this truth we're talking about here? We're seeing here in this energy, this communication, this possible um, epiphany. What does this queen need to speak to Aquarius about? Or what is this energy talking about when it comes to this queen of swords? Justice. There's Libra energy. This could be something related to a court case. Okay? Doesn't have to be. A court case not everyone is going to be experiencing um, you know having to deal with the law or you know any kind of uh, court situations this could be just bringing in um, the truth about a matter there's another sword here right you you can tell here that uh, right here with uh, the sword and then the scrolls and the feather that all talks about communication now there could be a contract here this could also be talking about um, a contract in work or business okay um, or this could even just be karmic contracts right some truth coming through about a karmic contract between you and another person let's see what else what else is there here for this energy So truth is being revealed here, guys. I, I, I'm not sure what it is yet. Let's just keep going and see what truth needs to be revealed here. What is this talking about? The moon. Okay, so there's secrets. We did say that there is some lies possibly um, going on here with this energy. Okay, now the moon talks about something being hidden. So there's some hidden truth here, hidden truth about a situation. Um, there could be somebody here. If you are, if we are talking about a court case, this can be somebody who maybe is hiding the truth or trying to um, reveal or not reveal, but uh, trying to hide the truth is what I want to say. Um, and the truth is being revealed. Something, something's coming out here about a person. Now, again, don't, relate that to your your situation if you're not going through a court case then this is just in general we're, we're going to keep going um a secret or something that needs to come out into the light okay what else do we have here for this hidden truth what's being hidden from aquarius what's being hidden Eight of Swords. This is Jupiter and Gemini. And this is talking about feeling trapped, feeling like you can't move, feeling like um, you're, you're up in your head about the situation. Now, Aquarius, if this is you keeping something from somebody else, um, you know, put the roles how they uh, fit, then you may be up in your head about it. If this is somebody external from you, then they are up in their head about it and they're feeling trapped. They're feeling like they cannot move. They cannot get out of the situation. But usually this card does talk about self-sabotage. So there could be here, you know, somebody here who's self-sabotaged by lying about a situation. Okay. Um, this can be somebody here who is keeping the secret, but feels trapped within the lie. Somebody here is trapped within a lie because the eight of wands in reverse is being quiet, right? Not communicating. Um, but the queen of swords is here to say, like, I'm, I'm going to find this secret. I'm going to find out the truth. So, you know, again, 
you know, whoever's energy this is, the Queen of Swords is really going to do everything in her possibility, in her grasp to find out what the secret is, to find out what is happening with this uh, possible um, betrayal. I don't, I'm feeling betrayal. Yeah, because look, at the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Swords, there's been some betrayal here. Somebody's been, you know, either stabbed in the back, felt, you know, somebody feels here that they were, um, there was a wrongdoing, there was something that maybe even words were, uh, you know, shared amongst each other, a group of people, however it resonates for you guys. Um, there's, there's words that were said, um, things that were done that felt very, um, you know, it, it's just betrayal. I feel that there's some betrayal that has happened here. Secrets were kept. Let's see if we can get Spirit to uh, clarify this a little bit further. The Knight of Swords. <laughs> Guys, yeah, uh, there's a lot of air energy here. Communication, truth, um, truth being revealed. And this night is a very quick moving night. So... There's communication coming in quickly. This truth is going to be revealed very, very quickly here. Okay. Even though someone's trying to keep quiet here, there's someone here who's trying to, um, even though they feel trapped and they don't know what to do, they're, they're staying as quiet as possible. They don't want to speak um, and say too much for whatever reason. Again, if this is a court case, I'm going to go back here. This is talking about someone who maybe lied about something in the, uh, within their testimony or, uh, you know, cause we have justice here. Um, this could be, you know, if someone maybe, um, fraudulently created a contract, this is you know, outside of a court case, maybe in a work situation, somebody may have, um, you know, uh, done some sort of fraudulent activity here in, in a workplace. Again, guys, it's going to be different for all of you. So if this is resonating for you, put it in the context to how it relates to what you're, what you're going through, what you, you know, what you're thinking here, but some communications coming in quickly. Let's see what else, what is this, uh, Knight of Swords? Lovers, this is possibly a situation between you and a lover, but either way, if this is between you and a lover, this could even be a friend. It could be somebody else, but these two people are kissing in this card. So, you know, um, this is Gemini energy and talking about a decision. Six in the major arcana, which is the lovers, talks about a decision. So there's going to be a quick decision that's made here. Okay. Um, if this is like, like I said, the court case, then we're talking about a quick um, decision about how to... Um, how to move forward in the court case. If this is, um, you know, something that has to do with contracts, fraudulent contracts, or someone who's lying in the workplace, you know, there's going to be a decision that needs to be made quickly. Could be, you know, someone having to come out and be honest about the situation if they're busted, right? If it's like, dude, you cannot, you cannot lie anymore. We already know we have documentation. We have proof, right? This is the proof there's, and there's going to be no way to continue to hide, right? Let's get one more card for this energy. One more card for this energy to move on to the next two cards here that I see on the, on the table. Okay. So we have the three of swords in reverse, whatever this is, there is going to be healing after the truth, the truth is revealed. Okay. This is in reverse. So someone is in the process of healing. Once this verdict comes through, once this, um, you know, whatever this truth is comes through, um, it is definitely going to relieve you from a lot of the heartache that you've been experiencing through the whole process. I feel like there is someone here who has been going through something very heartbreaking, um, but has also kept you in your mind as well, not just, you know, in your heart space, but, and we have this becoming a loving mirror, right? So 
you're learning to incorporate the healing process to be able to love again, right? If this is a divorce or if this is, uh, you know, something that has to do with, obviously it does, another person, right? Um, whether it's in a love spousal, spousal situation or friendship or business partnership, um, you know, it, it may have hurt. It may have stung. It may have felt like a big betrayal. But I feel like once this truth is revealed, it's going to be like, you know, you literally having a finalized conclusion to what it is that was being kept from you, hidden from you, or even the betrayal. Maybe it was something that, you know, the person on the other end was lying about or being deceptive about. It's all going to come to fruition. Okay. So hopefully that helps somebody to um, understand that it's coming to an end because we saw the Ten of Swords. Something's coming to an end pretty soon here. And it's going to come in quickly once a decision is reached and then healing will begin. Okay, so that's what I see here. Um, let's see what this Ace of Cups is because this could be that, you know, new beginning after healing, after going through this t uh, tough time, this difficult process. Let's see what the Ace of uh, Cups is talking about here. What's this Ace of Cups for Aquarius? I'm really feeling um, a release of energy here uh, and something beautiful beginning. As I mentioned at the beginning of the reading, we are having a new moon in Scorpio. Um, and so new moons obviously depict the, the new beginning for us. And it is, as I said, um, you know, co conjunct Mars, which this could be part of that Mars energy, right? We have the eight of coins. Okay. I feel like Aquarius, you're going to be tackling a project that maybe, um, you know, is related to your work that maybe you really enjoy. This could be a love for whatever, you know, if you're, um, if you enjoy the medical field, if you are a content creator, if you are a musician, whatever it is that you do to make money, it's going to be a new beginning here for you. Take that leap of faith to move into whatever work that you have been wanting to dive into. Um, let me just show you this card here, the Eight of Pentacles. This is you uh, really putting in the hard work, working a lot, um, working to uh, attain financial stability. And I feel like this new beginning is going to really bring in that focus for you, right? The focus and the, the, the love for whatever it is that you're doing, whatever work that it, you know, is um, feeling emotionally satisfying for you. It's beautiful. I love that. So the eight, you know, the, sorry, the, um, the fool talks about, you know, really taking on, um, something that maybe you've never done before. This could even be, um, talking about, you know, just taking that leap of faith, as I said, taking, taking a leap of faith in something that you are maybe not prone to being savvy to. Um, but I feel like you're, you're going to jump in and you're going to love it. What else? That's beautiful energy. It's been, um, I feel like, yeah, the energy that I'm feeling here is just, you've gone through a lot, Aquarius. You've gone through so much. And we have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. You could have uh, those uh, signs heavily aspected in your chart, or you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio individual. Okay, this Queen is nurturing. Um, this queen is someone who really opens her heart to uh, the things that are, that are, you know, emotionally satisfying. So this could be your energy, you opening up to the possibilities of the beautiful ace that we see here, right? All the potential for, um, your heart space to accept what, de what you deserve, right? What is meant for you. Yeah, I feel like somebody here broke your heart, guys. I don't know if that's the case. This could even be, it doesn't have to be like a marriage. It could be a friend. You know, there could be a, a someone who just really stomped on you, stomped on your heart. Okay. And you're, you're getting a new, um, a new lease on life is what I'm feeling. 
Okay. Let me get one more for this row and then we'll move on to this beautiful Ace of Pentacles that I see here, guys. I'm feeling like you guys are really focused on career. Yeah, there's that Seven of Pentacles. I saw this before I began your reading. Um, I usually do some meditations and card pulls before I begin the um, the readings for all zodiac signs. And this came out in your in my meditation for you. And this is talking about you getting ready to harvest something that you've been waiting to put your energy into, you know, or you put your energy into it already. And maybe it's, you know, coming to fruition that you are getting ready to either reap what you've sown um, or you're getting ready to, you know, make your move, right? Invest in the things that you want to invest in and doing it with a full heart, doing it with a full heart, becoming a loving mirror so people can actually see who you truly are. Because um, if this person um, here in this, this section of the reading, this, um, I don't know who this is, you, only you will know. Um, but there is somebody here that this could even be the judge making that final call, right? This is the truth teller. So um, that could be the judge in a court case. It could be, you know, anybody really. But whoever this person is that maybe was lying or trying to hide something, um, it, it, they could have been even trying to slander you, right? And I feel like that's going to be over with because you're going to have a new lease on life, guys. This is beautiful. I want to look at the Ace of Pentacles. Why is it here? Why is this Ace of Pentacles here for Aquarius? Wow, guys. <laughs> the Magician. This is Gemini energy, okay? This is you jumping into your manifestations and really coming into this new beginning with the potential of gravitating your energy towards money, success, um, career expansion, right? Everything that has to do with your resources and your potential for success. I love it. I feel like you're, you're, um, uh, you're manifesting something that is going to bring you longevity when it comes to your money. Long-term legacy is what I'm feeling. I don't see the ten, 10 of Pentacles here, but remember the aces encompass all of the Pentacles. Okay. Which includes the 10 of Pentacles. So I feel like you are definitely manifesting, um, your, uh, your, your money, your, uh, your long-term legacy, your stability, everything that has to do with bringing in the resources to keep you, uh, financially stable. I love it. What else? What else do we have with this Ace of Pentacles and the Magician? Yeah, the Magician talks about you having everything you need to do that, okay? Um, and that with this part here includes your full heart judgment. Okay. So this is a judgment call. This is telling me that you have risen like the Phoenix. You have come out of a very difficult period and the judgment is, uh, talking about the judgment card is talking about you having a realization, um, coming through this, uh, very, very difficult time and, and, you know, really making that call for yourself. This is the awakening. This is the awakening for you, Aquarius. I feel like you have come through, um, a process that has changed you, that has completely transformed you, completely created a whole new person. Um, and people may not even recognize you. Okay, people from your past may not even know who you are, may not recognize you at all once this is done. Okay, um, awakenings are very, very difficult. You know, you completely change after coming through a spiritual awakening. If this is a spiritual awakening, you'll know it. You know, if you're going through it right now, you're going to know because, you know, you can't miss the signs of a spiritual awakening. You know, um, not everyone is spiritual. That's why I'm saying I'm trying to clarify that if, you know, you're going through um, some sort of uh, revelation in your life, spiritual or not, um, this is something that you are going to be 
it's going to be like a revolution for you. You're going to be changed completely. And this, you know, I, I'm not sure about the timelines here, but, um, you know, again, when you reach this message, this can be any time that you actually find this message. So, you know, all in divine timing, right? We have a queen of wands. So this energy, again, gender is not a thing here in my general readings. So man or woman, this is you pushing through the energy of, um, courage and the energy of, of uh, determination and assertiveness and pushing through to get what you want. Okay. The queen of wands does know exactly what she wants. And I feel like you do know exactly what you want. Um, if, if you're not at this point yet, you will be, you will be, and you'll know exactly where you're headed. Okay. Let's get one more to close the reading. One more card for this energy to close the reading. Now you've gone through a lot here, Aquarius. I, I'm um, happy to see, though, that a new beginning is approaching for you and that you're going to be healing and doing the work to, um, to really, you know, embrace your heart space, right? Even because there's not a lot of heart... Uh, heart space stuff here, but this Ace of Cups along with your your um, Oracle card is really saying that you've learned to love yourself through the process. And even though, you know, people hurt us at times and people don't, maybe they don't see, um, you know, their own uh, love in the mirror, right? Maybe you've taught this person how to really grasp that idea of loving themselves. And then we have the the four of, is it the four? Let's see. Nine. Oh, this is the nine of cups. Sorry. There, there's no titles on these cards. The nine of cups, your wish fulfillment. Guys, this is beautiful. The nine of cups talks about complete wish fulfillment, having everything. It's, it's right before the 10, right? So the 10 is blissful. Uh, the 10, you, you know, your happy family, um, you know, this is the nine. So you're, you're, coming into this uh, this awareness of what is possible for you and having those wish fulfillments, right? Um, taking the initiative to move towards what it is that you love, what it is that, and I just mentioned, there's no, there's not a lot of heart space out here. Nine of Cups, this is you actually being aware of what your heart desires, right? This is your desire and this is your heart. What your heart desires is coming um, to fruition. And you're going to make sure that what you want and what you see for yourself in the future is going to, to play itself out with the magician here. You are the magician here. Okay. It's beautiful guys. I see a lot of success. I see a lot of financial stability. I see a lot of celebration. Uh, and I see big time epiphanies here. And I feel like you're opening up your heart to the things that are meant for you, the things that you deserve, the things that you are meant for with it, whether this is, you know, uh, acquiring a job and what, uh, you know, in a, in a field that you've always wanted to work in. If this is opening your own business, if this is, um, you know, whatever it is, it's something that you've always wanted to do. If this is going into realty, buying a home, whatever it is, guys, it's here for you after going through pretty much, you know, a, a situation that has been very heartbreaking and, and very difficult. So looking forward, you have a lot to look forward to. So guys, I'm so happy to see this for you. And I hope that, um, everything works out, pans out, um, the way that I see it here. So good luck guys. I'm going to leave it here. And until next time, I love you and namaste.